Hello, hello! In this video, we are going to be covering Packet Tracer 1.4.7, Configure Router Interfaces. And if we really want to think about this, uh, let's draw some boxes around this, the, the various LANs that are going to be separated by the router, the routers. So, we have four different local area networks. One, two, three, and four. If we want to get a data packet out, outside of this, this is the door that we have to go through, the router. And so then the router will then, of course, send it along to its destination, but we need to make sure that we have the right key at PC1 to allow it to say where, hey, here's the key to this lock and the port being the lock in this scenario. Well, let's just jump into it and show what we need to do in this various in these different pieces what you're going to do is jump into uh, the configuration for pc1 uh, and give it its ip v4 address according to the address table in this instance it's one just this ip address right here slash 25 is 255.128 we have to give it its default gateway, 172.16.20.1. We can close that out now. Default gateway is this G00 right here. It's this address right here saying, hey, this is my default gateway. Uh, when I need to send something out, it will go to this port on this router. All right. We have PC2 now. And its address is this, 255.255.128. And we are giving it its default gateway, which is, of course, this right here. So we have now set up the PCs. Now we have to go to router 1. And router one, what we're going to be doing is just configuring the router interfaces to assign those IP addresses to them. So we have to log in first with Cisco, enable. This will be class. Now we have to get into our configuration. I use config T as a shorthand, but feel free to you know configure terminal if if that's what your preference may be. All right. Now we're in configuration. Let's now interface G00 IP add 172.16.20.1. And we have to also give it subnet, which is 255.255.255.128. So we're just taking this and adding it to here and assigning that port as that IP address. We have to also do no shutdown to make sure it's up. So I will then exit and now interface G01. And we're just basically doing the same thing, but giving it its address right here. So we're assigning basically that default gateway address so it knows where to go. All right, no shutdown again. All right, so we have done the IPv4. You can do the pinging now if you prefer. I'm just going to go right in and do IPv6 and show that we'll get the lab at 100% and feel free to ping outside and make sure that it's working. But let's just move right along here. All right, so IPv6 is down here. We have our we have our IPv6 address right there. We have to put in our gateway and be careful not to put it into the DNS server. That will result in an error. All right. So just another copy and paste. Put it in there, default gateway, just 
Let's make sure that we have everything correct. 13, yep. All right, all right, all right. Moving along. Now, for this part, still the same, but a little bit different with IPv6, but doing the same concept. So, Cisco, enable, class, config T. In this, we're doing IPv6 add. And uh, actually, so let's see. Uh, actually, we've got to go, our, don't forget, as I almost did, I was jumping the gun. We've got to put our interface in. All right, so we have our configuration interface, IPv6 add 2001. And it's basically this right here is what we're putting in. And I type it out instead of copy and paste just to, um, so I don't grab any extra characters when I'm copying and pasting in this. Um, you can do the slash here. Don't forget, no shutdown. And now exit. We're going to do our other interface, which is G01, IPv6 add 2001 and again it's this one right here this 13 not the 11 which is the other port so db8 as i almost did right there one slash six four no shut down and we are now at 100%. You can confirm this by pinging each of those, opening the PC ones and uh, pinging the dual server and PC2 and so forth. But we have gotten our 100%. Thank you for joining. Look forward to our ne my next video. Thanks.